Back in 93, WrestleMania 9 took place in Caesars Palace Outdoors, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, a lot of wrestling fans, the Smarks, <laughs> I, I kid, they're bashed by a lot of internet fans for uh, some reasons there. Uh, they, they, they claim it's not one of the best manias in history. It, it, but to me, it was at least, uh, it was still at least a decent and absolutely enjoyable as opposed to most of the uh, modern day WrestleMania events. You know, all the matches were, to me, decent. Some were even good. The entire card was a great mix, a little bit of everything. Colorful, great outdoor arena feeling, a few comedy spots uh, in between. It was even at that WrestleMania, if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm right. Uh, you had that WrestleMania, you know, Luna Vashon was with Shawn Michaels. Um, Jim Ross made his debut. Um, it was also that match where The Undertaker won, obviously, but he won with uh, by a, 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 a DQ. The dark match, if you remember there, uh, in that WrestleMania, that dark match, it was Papa Shango versus El Matador, Tito Santana. It was an eight minute match. Um, I think the, 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 the problem that a lot of fans have with this WrestleMania was that at this point, all the characters that we grew up loving as kids, like the Warrior, Jake, the Militia, Andre, LOD, you had the Bulldog, Texas Tornado. In addition to all those larger-than-life heels, they were gone. The turnover was from WrestleMania 8 to 9, and uh, it was unbelievable. You know, uh, you lost all your favorites, all your fan favorites. You know, um, you know, like nothing against, uh, you might say nothing against Luger, but when he turned babyface on the Intrepid later that year, your WWF you had grown up with was officially over. And a lot of people maybe didn't even watch because all the stars were gone. Maybe you went to, you know, WCW at that time, followed where all your favorite wrestlers went. But to me, this was a transitional period for the WWF between the golden era and the new generation. But again, to me, it was still better than any of the WrestleManias, uh, you know, today, how they are put out there. What I mean by that, to me, that is, there is very little difference between a WrestleMania and the two months of Raw leading up to it. Back then, a WrestleMania seemed like it meant something. You know, looking on that WrestleMania as well, I thought that Tatanka should have won the IC belt. You know, he was at a peak and had his undefeated streak. They could have had, you know, Shawn Michaels win it back and end the streak, let's say, at SummerSlam 93 with help from the, you know, with his bodyguard Diesel there at the time. Uh, kind of wasted Tatanka's streak, I think, by having him lose to Borga. Who disappeared shortly after Tatanka was never the same. Uh, Tatanka was never the same after that loss. And remember, you could only defeat The Undertaker with chloroform, like Giant Gonzalez was trying to do. Hence why The Undertaker won via DQ. Hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you soon.